Kavita Sharpa, I'm here to talk to you about PMI audit process. It is not that bad as it seems to be. Don't worry about it. You just have to follow certain steps and you should do all right with the PMI audit process. Let's get started. Uh, so let's talk about PMI audit process. So whenever you write any application, the application, whenever you submit any application with PMI, PMI.org, it could be RMP, it could be PMP, it could be any other your application goes through certain stages of review. So there would be a review on, you know, whether the content is correct, whether you are actually doing the work, the, the work which you are supposed to do. There are other reviews like whether the dates, etc. are matching or not, um, whether you qualify for those 35 uh, hours of project management experience, uh, PDUs are matching or not. So all of that happens. PMI has a background team which does all of this work. Once this is crossed, then you might get a mail on whether your application is under audit or not. It's completely random. You are not targeted. Understand that. It is PMI who has to verify whether all the people who are eligible for PMP or RMP, they are actually eligible. So they have to have a trace of, you know, few selected members and few um, documentation. So you could be one of that person. In case you get selected, don't panic. That's first of all. Um, once you are selected, what you need to do is there are three things which PMI asks for. The first is education. Ensure that your education is done the second is, um, sorry about that, the video automatically does it. The second thing is um, your experience. Now, whenever you write your experience, and I hope you are seeing this video before you are filing your application. Um, so whenever you are writing your application, please ensure the, you mention people, uh, references who are live, who are not dead people who are, you are in touch with, you have their email address, you have their phone numbers. So the second is, thing is the project experience. And the third thing is PDU certificate, the training um, organization from wherever you have taken the training, those people would be able to give you 35 PDU. So two things are very easy, the education and PDU certificate. The only problem which people feel challenged is the project management experience. Um, as I told you, you can have the reference of anybody, whoever can vouch that you have done um, these projects under, they may not be under them. It could be, you know, your friend who can vouch that you have done those uh, projects. So um, download all the material which PMI, PMI is going to let you download the files in a specific format, download that. They'll give provide you a URL to upload your files. So upload your education, etc. And then the experience certificate, you need to get that signed from the references, the reference name which you have written. So get it digitally signed or physical signed, scan it and upload it. 35 PDU, scan it, upload it. Or, you know, if you are doing RMP, the RMP PDU certificate uploaded. Once you have done that, you wait for a certain time and you should be good. Um, within five to ten days, PMI reverts back, and then you should be good to go with your um, application. Um, approval should come until unless there are drastic problems. Um, let's talk about the durations. Um, within whenever you are under audit, you have ninety days to uh, apply and submit your documentation. The moment you submit your documentation, PMI is going to take 10 to 15 days, maximum 30 days to revert back to your you know, process. The moment your application is approved in the PMI system, you would have one year, full one year to sit for the exam. So that's all about the PMI audit process. In case you have any questions, you can write down uh, in comment box or write to me at help at kavitasharma.net. Thank you very much for watching this video and I wish you all the best.